Good evening, everybody. This is David Slash Asher. And join me for right now is Michael Slash Fates. Hey, yo. Uh, MPX will be back short, uh, momentarily. Um, I don't think we're going to have a fourth tonight uh, of any kind because, well, uh, there is various things happening out there on the wild that we're not going to be discussing tonight. Unless it's video game news. That's safe to talk about. Mm -hmm. But this should be the final episode. Should be. Of this game. Okay. Of this game. Of Legend of Ligaya. Phone. So, uh, you said we... First things first, we're going to need to go to West Vaz Forest. Let me get out of the... Um... Soul Tower. I was just about to say, I think you're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, did you... Oh, wait a minute. Um... The one piece of, uh... Game news that I could bring up, and this is something that I do actually have a stake in... Because my name will be in the credits, and I may have, like, some kind of... I think it may have been, like, a grave or something of the sort in the game. Uh, so, I kickstarted this game uh, years ago, and they just put out a thing saying, like, Hey, we're going to delay the game until next year. And if people are wondering what game this is, you haven't said what it is, you jerkwad. Uh, this would be Sea of Stars. And they are being very transparent about it because it's one of those, hey, we're delaying it because we want to ensure the quality of the game. Which, like 300 thumbs up from me. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that that is 100% fair. Okay, you said West Vaz Forest or East Vaz? West Vaz this time. West Vaz. We already did East Vaz. That's where we got uh, Terra's power up. Okay. Um, And in the same vein that they announced the delaying of the game till next year, which, okay, cool, fine. Uh, they are mentioned that the game is going to be coming for PS4 and PS5, which, cool. Um, I'm may not, uh, and it will be cross buy, which means if you buy a PS4 copy, you will get a PS5 copy. But probably that's the one thing. It's like, yeah, it's kind of that. Oh, they're delaying it, but it's more of like they've been doing some decent updates and making sure people know that, like. The Kickstarter is still going, and the game is still being worked on. It's just, hey, they want to ensure that it's not... Uh, as some people would probably put it, a piece of garbage on launch. Because uh, in recent years, it has come to a lot of people's attentions that Kickstarter video games have been... 80 percent uh, 80 not quite what they were hoping for now quick tell us your thoughts on mighty number no. nine i didn't kickstart that i kickstarted its other project which failed and has been silently canceled if you're wondering what game i'm referring to uh keiji inafune put forth a game design in the similar vein to uh, Mega Man Legends. Wait, this was East Foz. God. No, this is West. Okay. We want West. We want West, okay. Um, but uh, at the same time that you got Mighty Number no. 9 situated, uh, he brought forth another Kickstarter by the name of... Oh god, I forgot the name of it already. 
but it's basically it was supposed to be in the same vein as uh, Mega Man Legends. Uh, and at the same time, it got a Kickstarter for an anime, which that one... The Kickstarter for the anime went well until it got slightly released. And none of the Kickstarter goals generally were met. The game never fully met its Kickstarter goals, so the Kickstarter failed, but they picked up a publisher that was going to handle the funding, so quotations, the base game was going to be released. And... God, I need to find out which... It's, it's Red Something. Uh, Red Ash, that was it. Oops. But, uh... Yeah, no, that game got silently cancelled 2019 by its current uh, owner of the IP, which is Level 5. Because they bought, um... KG Inafunu's co uh, company, Comcept. And probably did an assessment about some of their stuff and... <coughs> Sorry. Decide, no, this isn't worth pursuing. Which... Uh, I was hoping for Red Ash to be good, but after seeing Mighty Number no. 9... And I will fully admit, like, the games that I've kickstarted, I have been extremely lucky in, in kickstarting games. Um, I kickstarted, uh... God, I'm trying to remember. It's the uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night uh, game. Oh, hey, there's there's just a chest here. Dark Suspicious. Let's open it. Darkstone. That sounds like something we should take to Jeremy and see if maybe Zalong can do something with it. Oh, door of light out of here. Fuck this dungeon. But, uh, Bloodstained. Uh, that's the Kickstarter that I backed. That's... They're still pumping out updates as well as, um, meeting Kickstarter goals. Admittedly, it's almost been three years since its release. But they're, like, I'm really impressed by them. Uh, another game that I kickstarted was Indivisible, which, that one, good game. Just kind of sad to see that the main, pers uh, the main person behind it got ousted out of his own company. Oof. Uh, I'm not going to explain the reasons why he got ousted out of his own company, but it was not because of him. It was because of the fact that he was a guy. Kind of thing. Not, like, you know, toxic or anything. It was just that... Uh, ousted because other people wanted his spot, essentially. I am a jeweler. If you have any precious gems, I will pray. Oh! Well, well. That's a very rare gem indeed. May I see it? <laughs> Zalong gets sucked into the gem. Oh no. Yes. See the dark stone. This is amazing. 
It is not exactly a gem, but it is quite a treasure. And I sense an amazing power inside it. If you wish, I will work on this for you. Making an accessory out of it may bring out its amazing power. Do you want Zalan to work? Uh, I'm pretty sure... No, we came here to turn him down. What did... The, it's like, I I know we could probably equip the Darkstone as is, but we're, uh, we're wor reworking it, but can you check to see what the Darkstone equip would I'm be? I'm actually like? not sure if you can equip it by itself, uh, I but think... I will double check. Yeah, double check. But I feel like the Lightstone did the same thing. And when we reworked it, it changed properties. Working intently. Oh. Um, when you ex equip it just by itself, it, or just as it is, it gives you uh, defense. It gives you. It has uh, dark based attacks. Okay. Uh, but the Dark Talisman he gives you also does the exact same thing, plus gives you the summon. Ah, so just all round better. Yeah, it's literally the same thing plus. Finished at last. Dark Talisman. It is quite work good workmanship, if I may say so myself. Well, uh, that's that. Um... There are three talismans we're missing, and we will be getting none of them. One, the fishing game is fucking shite. Yeah. And that's the water talisman, I take it. Yeah, that's the water talisman. Uh, Earth talisman, I crunch the math. Ugh. And that would take... Uh, nearly forever to get. I mean, not really, but it would take um, <laughs> some dedicated grinding to get. It would take some dedicated grinding to get even when doing the top tier uh, Muscle Dome stuff. Which... Mm. Nope. And then the final one, the Evil Talisman, uh, requires getting everybody to level 99. And... I'd do that if I could easily do cheats on this. I can't. Ugh. So with that, we are no longer uh, needing the saber guide for the rest of this playthrough. And, uh... We're not necessarily going to be leveling up any of the magic, because fuck that. It's like, I... Leveling on magic is going to be easy, but... Uh... We've determined that uh, you really only need certain spells leveled up. <laughs> Most of which is just... Eh. So, we are going to the penultimate dungeon and the ultimate dungeon. We've already done the penultimate dungeon. Tonight's all about the ultimate dungeon. Ah, to Rim Elm. Time to go to Rim Elm. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, giggling at um something is somebody mentioned me in memes. <laughs> but oh, 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 we have a third, oh. but it's not our expected third. No. Good Hello. evening, Magamitas. Hello, Magamitas. I, I just got back from I just got back from dinner. Ah, so ah. You, you are fooded up. Yes. yes. As some people would say, fat, happy, and content. Yes, well, the first part, pretty much on on, on point. The other two, uh, let's not discuss those, because <laughs> I did see the mention of the other stuff. And, nin, 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 yeah, nin. I don't want to get anywhere. Yeah, I, I had some grievances about some stuff that we talked about before the stream. We're not talking about it on the stream. Nin, 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 nin. Yeah. Oh, wow, Van! I have to make a voice for Van. <laughs> I'm sorry, a uh, voice for Vaughn? Because... Silence! Oh. Vaughn? Are you alright? I understand how you feel. 
even if we defeat Juggernaut, your family and fellow villagers may not return to normal. Fun. Fun. I understand. I understand how you feel, Vaughn. So, I'll wait for you. I'll wait until you feel you're ready for this. I'll wait until you're ready to fight Juggernaut. And the game is currently in the mood of... Are you sure you want to do this mode? Vaughn? You're all right now? You're all right, aren't you? Yes. Silence. Before our own eyes, we've seen many towns recover from the ravages of the mist. We may have made many miracles happen. So... So... Fun, you're not alone. Everything we did together, everything we are going to do... It will never, ever, ever be undone. That's why... And cutscene end. Up the tongue, I mean, fleshy mouth slope bit thing. Flesh slope. That just sounds dirty. Flesh slope. Flesh slope? Flesh slope. Tongue ramp. Um. Oh wow, Gimard's level 3. Fuck off, I have you already. <laughs> and since this is the ultimate dungeon, they have all uh, Seru, I take it. Yep, all Seru level 3. And Gimards are f***ing still chumps. Okay, so they're not... Wait, since when did Noah's arm be completely encased? And... Ozma, why do you have a chakram as a hat? I believe the correct answer of why or when that occurred is because we did the final upgrade. Ah, so basically everybody has basically uh, armored arms now. Uh, yeah. Now... Are we in? What's the end? Uh, this is the final dungeon. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what? I played Blinge Miller Guy when I was young, but I don't think I ever finished it. Well, you could live vicariously through me. <laughs> now, now is the time to bring forth the power of the great Genesis tree. Van, are you prepared? Yes. There's no point fighting Juggernaut from the outside. Juggernaut's weak spot is on the inside. And I can immediately, immediately hear Eddie probably screaming for whatever reason. That's what she said. I mean, I probably have some weak spots on the inside too. You know, organs are kind of defenseless without your skin. Yeah. Are you ready, everyone? We've got to cut an opening and crawl into Juggernaut's body. This, this is just getting more and more disturbing. It'll keep us warm. We must work together. Let's go! I, I don't think we're crawling into the Juggernaut's body to keep us warm. I think we're crawling into the Juggernaut's <laughs> body to do something else. Uh, halfling anus climber, anybody? Ugh. I don't know if you've seen that green text, but, uh... No, uh, I haven't, and actually, I'm, I think I'm better off for not having. It yeah, sounds way too uh, familiar can... to, um, Ant-Man and Thanos' arguments. Basically, oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> basically the same thing, except you could actually do that in 3.5. Can't do it in 4 or 5? 
problem now because 3.5 was a clusterfuck of random bullshit <laughs> and had almost no quality control there towards the end. Well, that's all. Yeah, and also 3.5 was like the most homebrewed ever. Yeah, it was the wild, wild west of homebrew. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was some of the things in that version. I just, well, I mean, basically, it was all open. It was all open game license, so anybody could make supplements for it and publish them. So you got some wildly unbalanced garbage. I mean, I, I can't <laughs> say much because my 3.5 character that always comes to mind was a sorceress, a sorceress turned exalted arcanist turned bonded summoner who rode a 12-foot earth golem into battle. Yeah. I think my, my most crazy one was a... That's, that was big on Naruto at the time. <laughs> So he was no. a water, half water elemental ninja that used a great sword sized for a creature three times his size because of feats. I was able to use it as a two handed weapon. Hello, Zabaza! Yeah, he was basically Zabaza. <laughs> anyway, cutscene time. Oh, wait! The Gym 87. Oh, the wow! Gym 87. You are at the end of the gun. Nice. Sorry, Jim, this is the the voice of chat so yeah this is the voice of chat welcome welcome to being part of the chat <laughs> you also share the voice of ozma too so uh so this is it are we going to enter Juggernaut's body through its mouth okay so we're not going through the like cutting option now we're just going to climb in through its mouth why would you do that <laughs> well, no, you cut through the shield ah uh, okay that's okay Thank you. You're welcome. Why would you climb in? Why would you climb in through its mouth? That's what it wants. <laughs> it sure. It seems just goes. That way. It just goes, chomps and swallows you, and then you get the game over screen. Welcome to digestive fluids. It sure seems that way. Brace yourselves. It's going to be a wild <laughs> ride. And all of a sudden, we're being flagged by uh, Twitch for girls. Yeah, we're getting. Yeah, we're getting flagged TOS for four. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yes, I have the encounter down because fuck it. We don't need anything it's the final here. dungeon. We don't need to level up. I mean, we do need a lot of stuff here, but not from enemies. Wait. It looks. Uh... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Very sphinx. It does actually at that too. Yeah. Which goes back to the whole Ant-Man and Thanos argument. <laughs> Man, there's are some really convenient ledges in this esophagus. I mean, it could be worse. It could be uh, Gygus. All the magic spells in the game are here. Yes, we actually have all the magic spells already. Yeah, right. we actually went through and uh, farmed them uh, in their earliest respective dungeons. Just to show it off a bit. Uh, the, we are missing three spells, uh, we, which we mentioned in the, in the prologue for tonight's episode, we will not be getting, uh, which are the uh, Earth Dome, uh, the Earth Dome Gem, the Fishing Gem, and the Everyone in 99 uh, Talisman. Yeah. And we got our Rosaru armor, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Vaughn. You guys skip the fishing ones? Yeah, because that one's the most annoying to get. Uh there we go. Yeah, I, I I've played my share of fishing mini games, but dear god. Uh just uh, even with Imagine the if it had been more like imagine if it had been more like uh a fourteen's um spear fishing minigame. That one I'd be more okay with since I actually right? don't have that then unlocked. It, you'd actually have fun with that. Yeah. Also, hello, Ava. Knockoffs. I um, mean, yeah, I don't know why you're calling them Ava knockoffs. We've literally been fighting these. Uh, we fought these before, just in a different color pa uh, palette. Well, that's because the color palette that they're using is uh, greenish teal and purple. So I should technically be saying. Zero one knockoffs. Uh, or what, what was it? Ichigoki? Unit, uh. 
Meh. I don't speak fluent humans. I... The last thing I've watched of Ava was basically one of the rebuilds, and they... They say, they say Ava 01 in it, instead of, like... Whatever the TV series referred to them as. So... And I see people are having fun with uh, solving philosophy in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did it. I can't remember what my kill count was. You literally posted what your kill count was. No, that's... I did. Oh, no, no, no. No, never that, mind. That was <laughs> deadly sodium. I, some, I saw the post, and I heard you pop in, and that I somehow I completed it. And then just... Going back, I guess, a little bit to the, the magic color stereotypes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't play magic for that long, but uh, uh, when I saw red black, I was like, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> that was me back when I played. I I played magic, but the problem is I never got enough of anything to even do uh, like what I wanted to do, so I... I got, I got magic beaten out of me very early. My... Yeah, and uh, red blue is also incredibly accurate. My favorite MT, uh, Magic the Gathering archetype is Solitaire. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to turn? Uh, I, I, I've, I've, I've been playing the last seven turns. Did you, did you want to turn? By the way, you know, I, I, I think I the magic. every colored one was the funniest one because it's like <laughs> extremely jank or extremely powerful. Yep, the no man's yeah. round to play full color. Yeah, no. And you're automatic. I mean, you're automatically nerfing yourself unless you have just nothing but multi lands. And we're stuck in Cilia Land. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, Ooh! I, got, I, I didn't play Magic for very long. Okay, I like you the got, color. You got beat out of me. I, I like. I played for years upon years. I like the color of Orb Three. I'll be honest. Oh yeah, I know Orb Three are pretty. Hey, yeah. Yeah, they look nice. But yeah, um, no, I had a friend, yeah, I guess they got into location, who played Magic, and I was like, oh, I guess I'll get some Magic cards so we can play together. Uh, he had a Sliven deck. Ooh. You know what that Sliver deck? Or wait, yeah, uh, Slivers. That was it. Sliver deck. Sliver yeah, deck. Slivers are fucking nasty. So, uh, yeah, every time we played, it was like, he was really into Magic. He was so the like type of guy that he played, had. He would just annihilate me with, like, oh, it's like, okay, we're still playing a 20 life point game, and then in one turn where I didn't even get to do anything, he's like, okay, I have 10,000 life points, and you're dead. Oh, hey. Uh, Nora, uh, Noah, with her robe, has the little thing again. Cool. Oh. What little thing? Uh, oh, the little you know, chest, just... like, cape floaty bit thing. Oh, yeah, the, the veil thing. Yeah. yeah. In in this case, it's actually see-through, so it's like, mmm, weird. But, uh, no, for me, it was, like, the first time I, tr uh, like, I was doing magic, I was playing with a borrowed deck of a siblings, and when it's like, I want to get my own, it's like, well, do you have money? No. Well, then you it's like, well, you can't buy your magic deck. And it's like, okay. The second time was I got dragged into helping with uh, a group of fellow shipmen with the whole, like, we're going to buy three boxes and then open packs and then build decks. And I'm like, I haven't played magic in years. And they're like, don't worry about it. Got oh, my ass. Just a little good, good old draft fun. Yeah. And I mean, draft is fun, but I don't play it. <laughs> uh, I, on, for my part, and I'm, I'm definitely dating myself here, uh, I started playing in uh, during Ice Age, which was... Oh 96? my god, me too. <laughs> I think that was the first pack I bought, was Ice Age. And I technically, like, I've actually done, like, tournament play. I played all the way up until... I, I still have a ton of cards. But I think the last last time I played was about three years ago, after uh, me and my previous roommates uh, all went our separate ways. Uh, you know, I haven't played I haven't played Magic since then. Cause yeah, I went out and bought a deck. It was red black, 
to play with some friends and be like, hey, this is what we're doing, so I guess we'll play some magic. Red, black and, versus slivers in that era is just no, no. Yeah, and then I never no, won. Not a single hell, one. No, Basically, no, you literally needed. You literally needed to deal with slivers in that era. You literally needed black and blue artifacts uh, with artifacts. So it was just. I was like, okay, yeah, I could, I could. That's like, this isn't fun, and that's basically the last time I ever touched magic. Yeah. Secret to dealing with slivers back then was uh, tap their shit and keep it tapped, and blue had a ton of options for that, and then artifacts. But yeah, <laughs> I'm noticing a lot of purple in uh, V3s. Yeah. yeah, it does seem to be rather common. Uh, the GM would like to know if we are currently in the colon. Uh, we, we might be in the colon? I don't think um, we've been going long enough to have actually reached the colon yet. I think we're in that creature. I mean, at one point, in a snake, does it become a colon? <laughs> the uh, snake must just be one, one length. I mean, there still is a definable stomach, so beyond that point. Uh, we might be in the small intestine? Maybe. Well, let's see. You just got the roster root plate, right? Yes. Uh, roster root robe, roster armor, another fork roster root robe. Uh, curves in all directions. It leads to a roster root plate. Uh, we haven't even hit uh, like an area with raging rapids. No, not yet. No, that's uh, no. I'm literally saying we haven't. I, I'm I'm aware that we haven't. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm feeling like. We're not going to get to the colon until after that area. Spoon. Just be on the safe side. But I think somebody in high school tried to get me to start playing Magic again. Uh, and... He did the exact same thing that happened to Magamitas, which was uh, he loaned me one of the uh, one of the decks, and he red deck goblin me to death five times. And I'm like, Goblin Swarm is nasty. It's like, dude, this is not how you do you get somebody into the game. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, I tend to play very um my my decks when I when I build them. I don't design them for speed. I don't design them to win, like, in by turn three, win by turn four. I design them to set up a base of power by, like, turn five, turn six, and then just stonewall the enemy and slowly whittle them down, just toy with them. I have a deck, my, my old tournament deck, which I still use uh, variations, well, until the last time I played, at least, um, was a white-black deck. It had one card in there that I could pay to do one damage to every creature and player. Uh, com uh, combined with creatures that were immune to it because it was a black card, and they were immune to black damage. Uh, combined with an, uh, a relic that, or an artifact that reduced damage from all sources by one. Uh, combined with a, an enchantment that said that I cannot die. I cannot die so long as I control at least one creature. So I'm just like, <clears throat> okay, hit me. Okay. And oh, and then I added in another enchantment later that every time any creature dies, all creatures and players take one damage. That looks ulcerous. This river. Um, you it doesn't look great, does it? No. It looks like it's oh, filled with blood. Purple. Do you wish to dive into the rapids? Oh, boy. Okay, grab the Crimson Book. Crimson Book. Dive under the blob? Uh, I don't think this is blood, sir. I mean, Way in Rome. Okay, what is... I'm just doing a quick check is what this Crimson Book is. Trying to remember, actually. Oh, that's the experience boost! Oh. 
Yeah. Yes. In the final dungeon. Why? Just in case you need a little bit extra top off. Okay. Going this way, because I'm guessing if we went into the river, we just loop, a la or loop around. I see. Uh, grab the Crimson Book and continue into the next room, yeah. Okay. And Viguro has decided to change it up and look like a grasshopper. Common Rider, is that you? Uh Admittedly, like the only card game that I actually paid money of my own volition outside of being dragged someplace was the Pokemon trading uh, Pokemon card game. Which is a uh, which is an interesting flip because I tried to get into the Pokemon game. I actually didn't buy any. I was using a friend's and it was just a little weird, like a little more complicated for me. Hmm. Oh, uh, Jim said, Crimson Book is for people like me who want all the characters at the same level before the end. My characters will probably be all the same level before they before we hit the final boss. Yeah, run a level one more time. Everyone else will stay static. I played Pokemon trading card game when I was real little in elementary school. At least until I got it banned. But, um, I, I, I kind of, I mean, I kind of liked it, but I just, I just couldn't get into it because the concept of, I mean, I was used to magic, so the concept of taking what I basically kept thinking of as the land cards and attaching them to a creature just felt weird to me. Well, for and me, then I tried to get into Yu-Gi-Oh early on, but then they started coming out with all kinds of crazy shit, and I'm like, mm, this is too much to remember. Uh... Freaking synchro summons and XY summons and whatever else. I have an acquaintance, and he's going to stay as an acquaintance, at least in this conversation. Fair enough. Who, like he, yeah, like he plays the digital version of Yu-Gi-Oh, and he, it's like all of his decks aren't technically tournament or multiplayer allowed because they are fucking broken. And these are, by the rules, set forth by, uh, Konami. <laughs> so, like, multiple Regeki? Yeah, and he's got, like, Pot of Greed and stuff. No, actually, he said that that's, like, basic stuff. It's, like, um... I think the multiple Regeki is one that he mentioned is, like, something that he based something off of. But it's, like... When he can literally wipe the floor of any of the uh, PC opponents in three turns because he does the exact same shit that... Oh, hey, you wanted a turn? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Your uh, turn. It's my turn. <laughs> sorry. It's still my turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Children's card game. Yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing is that I before I got uh, before I even tried Yu-Gi-Oh the card game, I had seen Yu-Gi-Oh and I had played um. What was the first uh, the first one on the PSX? Forbidden Memories. I don't know. But um, in that one, it w it played very differently. It played almost more like the show, where you could do like weird shit like. Hold stuff they got on my ass. <laughs> you could, you like, well, like, you could play Time Wizard and then play Baby Dragon and get Thousand Year Dragon. Oh, hey, more purple, and Mushura looks like a tire. Even more now. Yep, it wants to run you over. They all want to run you over. Well, it matches with all the motorcycle noises. Speaking of which, card games on motorcycles. <laughs> card games on motorcycles. <laughs> God. I'm trying to remember one of the abridged episodes was like we're going to play a card game while standing still on the ground I think that was the movie oh was it the movie? it was the movie and the guy that came from the, the that one was like no even more crazy it was like we're going to play a card game sitting at a table like, what, no dual discs? <laughs> no dual discs? No holograms? No death games? 
I mean, Purple Realm. Shadow Games? <laughs> Purple yeah. Realm. Just gonna play a normal game. Uh, mind Crush? No, We're Bad Pharaoh. Bad, no Mind Crush. Just a tiny. We're no Mind Crush. A, card, a children's card game. But not just any children's card game. A shadow children's card game. <laughs> I'm so camp. Ancient Egyptian laser beams. Uh, I don't think. Nope. Okay, here we go. We have three ways to go. Nip. I don't think we want to go into the water just yet. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm following the uh, road, but head down and jump into the rapids to reach the Rosaru seal. Okay. Uh, I just found a safe point, but uh, it sounds like we need to do that one first. And a little. Yeah, probably. I'm. Hmm. They and look... then also. Protagonist. God. Every time I hear that, all I can think of is Mandark. From. <laughs> I know it's like he's supposed to evoke that, but it's like. No, that, that's Mandark. And people are like, who the fuck is Mandark? I feel like I've definitely heard the name, I just can't freaking place it. Dexter's Lab. Guys from Dexter's Laboratory. Okay. He's supposed to be Dexter's His rival. Dexter's uh, rival, essentially. Um, who does? What was his real? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that one. I can't remember what his real name was. It's something like Leslie or something. Like that. No, it, it. His real name was like something. Uh, something something sunflower because his, both of his parents yeah, were his 70s parents style were... hippies. Yeah. But well, you see, protagonist, there is nothing that you have which I cannot obtain. <laughs> Dolphin attack! It was a Mandark slab. Okay. I think there's even I can remember the episode where he came up with his name. I have to give myself a name that shows how manly I am and the darkness in my heart. So from now on, I shall be Mandark. Uh, yeah, thinking back on it, Mandark is 100% edgelord. <laughs> yes, dive off into the rapids. Whee! Sploosh. Oh no, I missed it. Oh no. Uh... I don't know what happens when you miss it. Uh, it looks the guy like... did not take into account the possibility of missing. Okay, it brings me back to that spot. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you just run south and try it again? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's easy. <laughs> there we go. God, I wish there was a better indicator. So you got the Rosaru seal then? Yep, Rosaru seal... Uh, equip. That's the helmet for Vaughn. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. When you get out of the water, head right, and when you pass one of the weird bobbly appendages over the rapids, jump off. Okay, so basically follow again, go up, and then when you see the diddly bit... The diddly... Diddly... Yeah. Dingy dong! Sorry, they don't look like Philia, they look like other pieces Nine. of anatomy. Enai. Phallus. <laughs> and then when, after the jump off at the fork, hold left to go left and you'll lead you to a chest with Rosaru Plume. Why is Rock. the helmet inside of Juggernaut's arteries? Why is any of this inside of Juggernaut's arteries? Why, Why is, is there a pair of pants in a bear's butt? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, Blizzard told us that that is something that can definitely happen. 
Yeah. Why? Fire animals well, running around with gold pieces. No hooves. Magic fire ring. Who but knows? no hooves. Or two tails. Or three asses. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on the fucking Zevra with no fucking hooves. I am stuck on that to this day. It has been a fucking decade since the last time I did that quest, and I'm still stuck on that. Thank God we've moved on to better MMO RPGs. Yes. Sorry, I, I played vanilla while where the bears could drop pants. Not good pants, but pants. Oh yeah, no, a hundred percent. I I remember that, and they would be they'd be like great quality pants. They would exist purely for the purpose of selling them, unless you were really bad on your gear game. They weren't even good for desynthing when they finally opened it up a bit. Well, I mean, of course not, because desynthing required greens, green or higher quality. I thought at one point they opened it up to everything, but. No, I, I, you might have, I, I don't remember. No, there wasn't a way to descent into. The only way to descent was to disenchant. Uh, uh, and and disenchant required the item to be, as the name suggests, enchanted. Yeah. Well, I used the term descent, but it was like the Weaver's yeah, no. version. So, and there's go go. Uh, there's Gala, and I was about to say go go Gala. Go go gala, go go gadget gala, go go gadget gala. Form of a seru. <laughs> yes. And left or right, left or right, left. Left it is. I picked correct. Continue going left. I mean, I had said it. I had said it once, but. Uh, so you should get a Rosaru plume over there. Plume? We now have a feather from a Rosaru. Uh, turkey birds. And then just continue and it should bring us back to the starting point. When you, if you go back in, it should bring you back to the same fork, and you want to choose right this time. Okay. So left or uh, left or right would have not been bad. It just we wanted left. Yeah, first. it's just that's the, that's the order the guide gives. Yeah. Okay. You eventually do want to go down both paths. Okay. Oh no, the deedly bob. Helmet. And now I'm reiterating the I might do that. One too many. My brain was immediately going to the skit with Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny of Spirit Magic Helmet. Oh. <laughs> but we don't get spears in this game, so I can't do that. Yeah, no. Uh, now we're going to go back up to that save point you found earlier. And save. Yes. And I'm guessing mid-boss? Uh, no. Final boss? No. Oh, just save point. Midpoint. Midpoint, okay. No boss. I mean, there's someone who might boss you around. <laughs> okay, she's I got... I mean, remember, we are in Rimelm. Yeah. Okay, we have wings. Her... And Gala quite literally looks like he's wearing 
the face of a Seru that he's just ripped off. Yeah, put it on as a helmet. As a helmet. Not that too good. Not that too good. Nothing says pure psychopath energy. Like ripping something's face off and putting it on your I mean, have you played Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> and Vaughn just gets a circlet with a horn. He has a Unicron. Oh, wow, Gala even gets a visor. You just not notice that? No, I, he keeps going. He's gonna be a Power Ranger. <laughs> or somebody from Sentai. <laughs> Uh, I mean, in a way, this game's uh, plotline isn't that far off from, uh, like, a uh, high fantasy Sentai. Yeah. Fair. I'm guessing we're going to be getting the ultimate weapons very close to the final boss. I mean, in the next uh, section, yes. Yeah. So, the only things left are technically the legs and weapons, I believe. Uh, correct. Legs and weapons. As well as there's a couple more waters. That you still haven't used any. Oh no, there, I guess there's only one more water. One water! Uh, there's also a couple other accessories though too. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, look! There insists! You. And the Lost Grail, where. No. No, no. That is. This is not Wild Arms where we can, can buy the shit out of those things. Oh. Okay. Hello? Oh, we Hello. can actually talk to one person. Yeah. Fun. Wait. Oh. oh, hello. It's our. It, it, it's the fourth slice. Now fourth. Yes. We're 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 Sorry, inside. I decided to throw away. Uh, uh, luck. You decided to. Delve into the, the the realm of Gotcha. Yes. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, can we get some F's in the chat for this poor soul? Uh, which Gotcha, by the way, was it Timonin or was it? Oh. <laughs> well, it doesn't help when they throw out the new Meta Servant to give you three hundred. Like, here you go, and it's like, wow, I got nothing. Versus, like, everybody else is like, I got it on my second try, and you're like, Pretty much. Have you, when you hear horror stories of somebody desperately trying to get to NP5 on Castoria, uh, <sighs> and it goes up to 4,000? Blah! That's 4,000 pulls or 4,000 dollars? 4,000 Saint Ports. And isn't, yeah, like, a ten pull like, 300? Uh, a ten pull is 30. So, a hundred pulls ah. is 300. Ah! Ah! We were talking about when... Oh, they over a thousand pulls. Yeah, we are talking when they implement the pity system, which is really pitiable, because it essentially is only for those that have put in, like, 900 sync ports. To get a pity pole, which is already ridiculous, would have actually saved him money. <laughs> anyway, cutscene time. Then it's you, Gala, Noah. I don't think I could talk to any of the other villagers. Aya, are you alright? Are you in pain? Don't worry, I've still got some fight left in me. Just hang in there. We'll save you. I promise. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so 
tired. Silence. Come on, let's go. It's time to take out Juggernaut for good. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get Juggernaut. Can we actually talk to any other people, or are they... Okay, they just go, Ah, it hurts! I was gonna say, the guide doesn't clarify, but the guide also is the guide. The guide, and they're like, Don't waste time talking to people and get, you know, side stories or explain shit or... Anything good. Well, there's the boots. One pair of them, at least. One pair of shoes found. Oh, hey, let's go talk to our... Vaughn? Is that you there, Vaughn? Mm, yeah, I'll do. I've been looking for you. Oh, thank you. I knew you would come, Vaughn. But please, don't look at me. I'm covered in meat. <laughs> She's just trying out a meat dress. I don't know what you're so worried about. Yes. Yeah. She's not as good as Lady Gaga. <laughs> I don't know. People are self-conscious like that. I must look horrible. Don't look at me. I look awful. Ah, there's the elder in the background looking like a demented flower. That's not true. You look the same, May. Just as pretty as ever. But only covered in meat. You don't think covered in meat. You're so sweet, Noah. Thank you so much. And I told myself I wouldn't cry. I told myself I'd be strong. Hang in there, May. We'll finish off Juggernaut. Then we'll rescue everyone. Wait, Thon. Take this with you. Vaughn now has May's pendant. Promise me, Vaughn. Promise me that you'll come back alive. Oh, hey, now we can talk to Nene without having to give her honey. Watch as I talk to her. It's like, I'm gonna make a cake. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if you would just eat the fucking honey. Well, let's go see what May's pendant is, which I think is only equipable by Vaughn. And it's not that good. I mean, it's still kind of cool. Uh, by the way, this is actually a quote-unquote secret accessory. Uh, you got this because you uh, tried to get made a safety when the mist invaded. Oh, nice. If you had not done so, uh, she would not have given you this pendant. And we now have shoes. Yep. So, equip Noah with shoes. And let's talk to Nene, and Nene doesn't get a cutscene. Not gonna try and poison Nene. Talk to... Have a fight before the Elder. And Bara! Once again, sticking with the purple motif. And... Noah now has golden boots. This pendant is amazing when you need to level up Vera Orb and Spruce. Yeah, I could see that. Like, any yeah. health increasement would help with the uh, boosting of leveling that. I think Gala Spoon is at 6, probably on its way to 7. I don't think I've ever maxed out any of the healing. No, you have at least not that we've discussed. No, uh, and spoon is six. Yes. I mean, I tried working on it for everybody, but it's kind of hard to level up healing when the places I could work on it. The crip item heal. On a crip item. The crip item heal. Ad nauseum until complete. I mean, 
mean, yeah, that actually does make good sense, especially if you're just standing at a, um, at like one of the healing fountains anyways. Yeah. It does make a nice non-combat way to grind it up. Versus the combat way of everything else, which is like, let's do this until they're dead. Which... But to put it this way, I mean, we, we're we actually uh, a little bit over-leveled, I say a little bit lately, uh, to the point where um, the fight against, the uh, previous boss fight, which was the fight against Songi, the final time, uh, ended up being kind of a, a kind of a tease, almost, for we were, how hard it should have been. We were like, oh no, we're going to die! Oh no, we're and going to die! And then no one oh. got even close. Oh, oh no, we're going to die? Two. And this uh, and the final uh, boss is supposed to be actually quite a bit easier. Um, the only the only trick is that he does have. Uh, remember, like a couple of the older boss fights where they had the big tell that a big move is coming next turn. The yeah. final boss has one of those tells. Well, let's go talk to the elder. Why, Ron? I thought the mist was all gone. You lied to me. Oof. And and we should be finding Dad pretty soon here too. Okay. Uh, nope, Vaughn. Up, up, Vaughn. Up, Vaughn. I think this is Dad. Vaughn, Vaughn. Don't worry about me. I'm alive. What's more important is that you are going to do. Destroy Juju Nut. I mean Juggernaut. Juju Nut. Juju Nut. I see. I'm sure you can do it. Take this with you. Miracle Water. Um, yep. I am so proud of you. I don't know what I was trying to do with his voice there, but it was not. I'm not going to try to explain what I was trying to do because my brain in me is like, no, don't do that. Stop that. Are there side paths? No, there are no side paths. Are we so in the next thing is keep going and we're going to get the last uh, shoe option. And Kamaro is stone and moss. Okay. Actually, I mean, that makes sense. But I think we're in the ovaries now. <laughs> Wait, Juggernaut has oats? Right in the ovaries. Oof. I mean, we're surrounded by things that look like egg sacs, so... Uh... Unless this is one of those things of, like, this is the, you know, electrolyte cell that eels have, these look suspiciously like eggs. Or it could just be a parasite infestation in the intestines. Ooh. I mean, it is a man-made sim, Saru. Uh, I, I don't think that our good buddies from the castle were smart enough to be able to perfectly design it to withstand everything. It's a juggernaut! It, it, sir, it, it's garbage. Also, they kept sacrificing females to it, so maybe it just developed ovaries because of the fact that they kept being sacrificed to the Juggernaut? I mean, that's an interesting theory, and perhaps that is the case. <laughs> that is a theory. Alright, I'm back in a second, guys. Alright. Yes, sir! And I'm doing this with Encounter Down, of all things. Yeah, imagine what the encounter rate must be like without it. Why is this... Gingalas? 
I'd expect greaves, not thongs. Those thong th thong thong thongs? <laughs> okay. Yes, I know thongs are another word for flip for flip flops, but mm -hmm. come on, greaves would work better with his armor scheme. Thongs would have worked with Noah, but then again, um... There would have been, uh, yeah. Because it's like, helmet, plate, grieve. Versus helmet, plate, thong! Okay, so there is a hidden item, uh, up, uh, uh coming up in it. Or, not even coming up, we actually just barely passed it. Uh, head back a bit? So what you're gonna want to do is... Just uh, spam X up against the uh, the right hand wall and work your way down a little, little bit. Okay. Spam X or oh, PlayStation controller. Sorry. I I, w I look down at my controller, which since spam this... activate button. Spam accept button. Yes. Uh, are we going to try to finish this off tonight? Yes. Uh, that's the plan. Yeah. We should be on track to do so, with maybe a slight bit of overtime to watch the cutscenes. Yeah. Because we're already uh, past the halfway point. Uh, we're about, I want to say about halfway, th or so we're about three quarters through the dungeon, not including the final boss fight. Yeah, and this is not like modern day video games where Credits! Two and a half hours! This is more like... Oh god, imagine imagine you beat the final boss and then you get a message. Um, several cutscenes will play in sequence. <laughs> god, that, that would be horrible to encounter that in real life. Is like, you're about to encounter several cutscenes in sequence. Are you sure you want to continue? Wait, to experience that in real life? Yes. Did we just get isek did we just get soft isekai? <laughs> I, I mean Did our world suddenly become a world with a system or something? If it did, can I exploit it? <laughs> By beating up random wildlife and selling their pelts? <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What a sentence did you rejoin on? Uh Isekai. Yep. Uh, I mean, like, I made some pretty bad jokes about uh, the world event, but, uh, I feel like some of the Japanese have already made those jokes and moved on. Uh, so basically just screw... <laughs> The Metal Goblet! Yep, that's the one. And what does that do? Metal uh, Jam? increases your metal. It is a Metal Goblet. AP remains at 100! Yeah, it increases your metal. Vaughn! Uh, actually, no, not Vaughn. I'm gonna keep him as Metal Jam. But Noah... Noah? No, uh, so, sorry, Zalan's crown is going to be useless for this, so, Metal Goblet. <sighs> well, yeah, if her AP is stuck at 100, then she has no need for um, AP accrual. Yeah. And that was the one hit... Oh, good, now, now we're walking on top of these weird things. Okay, let's see here. Uh, next room is some kind of weird tunnel. There's no forks in the first area. Uh, second area, one of the weapons is at a right in the fork. Okay, take right when I get to fork. Yep, you are starting. To, you, it is almost time for you to get to the Rosaru weaponry. Yay! Heal time. And after you get to the Rosaru weaponry plus one more accessory, you will get to another save point. 
And that is two final boss time? That is the final save point of the game, yes. Okay. At which point this guide can officially be closed. Officially be closed and uh, be cleared uh, from cash and cookies. Oh no, I've been opening it in um, I've been opening it in incognito mode, so ah. it's not been lo lo locking into my cash and cookies. Ah, good. And slippery. Going into the green motif. I mean, eh? Oh god, rot. Rot, rot, rot. We don't get to deal with rot that often. Yeah, I thought it'd be like a bigger thing, but apparently not. I mean, there's always, like, Legend of Ligaia 2, which has barely any relation to this game. Uh, and by barely, I mean it's, I think, some of the same staff and the same director, a bit of the same game uh, mechanics, but definitely, like, None of the spells. So, like, there's no Rosaru. And yes, I do actually own Legend of Ligaia 2 on PS2. I picked it up quite some years ago. God, there was a 2. <laughs> I think you were actually around for when I picked it up, uh, Wally. Yeah, I think so too. Because that was at, uh, Tucson Comic Con <laughs> that I picked yeah, it up. Yeah, I remember that. And I was like, I just remember now, but wait, they did make a sequel. Back when they made sequels of less popular games. Oh. And... <laughs> chest. Club! We have, a, we have a club. This is actually... Gala's. Okay. I mean, nowadays... Well, of course it's uh, and... Next fork... I I'm guessing we're taking every fork that's... Magic Armband? Yep, that's the remaining accessory. Uh... Oh, we already had a Magic Armband before. Okay. Meh. Oh, hey, Puera. They just got even dar uh, darker purple. Oh, no, death game. That's always fun. Oh, God. I mean, A, you did save recently, and B, you do have horn. <laughs> not three deaths. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No! Stop that! That's a rigged game. <laughs> that one was a bit easier for... Yeah, I got another one. Really? And it was Noah, and I got it this time because it wasn't... Oh, no! Stop! Yeah, no, that one Bonk. was pretty easy. Bonk. Both of those two, I would say, were decently easy. Bonk! <laughs> That one was a bit easier. The first one was hard, but it's like, blah, blah, blah. Bonk, no. Bonk, 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 bonk. I mean, at least you still get XP and, uh, well, 
And not that we can spend it, but you also get G. Fangs. Yep. Hello, Noah. And now you just need the blade. No, I'm not going to be spending years studying it. God, no. Uh, this, is, this is the right way. Okay, cool. The blade. And... Wait, did I never... Oh, that's why I never equipped that, because it's... It's the stupid fat one. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fat boy. It's the fat boy! But the Rossiru Blade is actually slightly stronger than it. And those, isn't a fat boy. Are those eggs are rocking on? I think they were eggs! I mean, they're either eggs or cysts. Neither is really a great option for, you know, walking on. Oh, Alright, no. you should have a state point coming up momentarily. I think I just oh, saw hey, the butthole close. It clenched. No, stop that, sir. We need to do it for your prostate exam. Oh, God. Just relax. Don't worry, we're doctors here. Squish. See, I even have my uh, surgical knife. Why do you need a knife for a prostate exam? You'll find out. <laughs> okay. Bonk those. In case yep. things get stuck. <laughs> squish and squish. Why yeah. do you think I tell you not to cleanse? I'm just resaving because I don't want to do that ever again. You'll probably have to. Yeah. If you die. If I So die. just don't die. I'm just going to make it sound really easy. Just don't die. Just don't die. And I probably... Ah, no, I forgot to change equipment. <laughs> I have the what encounter down still. Oh. Hey. Eh, just don't die. Feel a breeze. There's a breeze coming from over there. Noah, oh, no! It's poo gas. That much methane? That kind of concentration? God. What, what's that? Ah! Ah! What's wrong, Noah? What are you shouting about? Oh, holy. It's trying to push one out. <laughs> No. You? Are you alright, Gala? Please don't let go. It's getting out of my mouth. <laughs> Jugger Juggernaut farts and launches now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying, but my hands. They're slippery. I can't get a grip. Good grip. We're slipping. Dude's freaking strong. But he's holding up three people's body weight with one hand. Well, I think that's also the hand that he has uh, Ozma on. Mm. <laughs> Just It's like there's a wind that coming from over there. Oh, no. Why does his intestinal tract lead to his heart? Uh, I didn't uh. say that it was geniuses that designed him. <laughs> Somebody was hungry, I guess. Or took that uh, old idiom to heart. Ooh. Blew a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> yes. And for those that have seen Nazca, Valley of the Wind, this should look vaguely familiar. I felt like I had this feeling. I felt this feeling before. Noah, where do you think you're going on your own? Fun, we have to follow Noah. More. Oh no. Somebody's been sleeping in a cocoon. Oh no. My my br brother, he's alive. Just as Songi said, Court has fused with Juggernaut and is still alive, but how horrifying. 
How bizarre! Hey, look, it's another Sentai moment. How cliche! He couldn't be human anymore. No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Noah hands over the black materia. What? Court, come back. Turn back into a person again. Why did you do it? You're my brother. You're supposed to be human. I'm human. I know about love. Noah, that's exaggerating. You, you think you know about love, but there's other things. Humans are weak. Humans are dirty. Humans poo. I mean, all three of those statements are accurate, but nonetheless. I gave up being human to become a mighty being. I don't have to poo. Well, your lack of lower abdomen sort of demonstrates that. I am a being that transcends human, even the Seru. Wiggle, wiggle. A perfect entity! A perfect entity! A perfect entity! Humans, I am perfect! I will use all my powers to destroy them! Wiggle, wiggle. No, you're wrong, Court! Who interferes? It's me, Noah. Noah? Who is Noah? I know no Noah. He knows no Noah. Translation oh, team. Oh, oh. Ho ho. Yeah, someone on the translation team would have been too much fun. <laughs> I need no Noah. Well, Noah's dead. Noah, are you all right? Court. I sense the presence of humans. Weak, dirty, poo-filled humans. <laughs> I do not need humans. I need subscribers. Oh no. <laughs> He's an influencer. Oh, 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 oh. I need those likes. Oh no. He's been corrupted. I must destroy the humans here. And... I'm not failing the final boss music. No, I'm not. Ah yes, I too have eyes on my shoulder, uh, shoulder pauldrons. I mean, I, I see what they're trying to go for. They were going for kind of, they were trying to get like a one-winged angels type of feel. And I have a snake mouth for my tail butt. Actually, isn't this before Final Fantasy VII? I don't think so. Court! I mean, I could be wrong. Okay, so... I think it is before seven, I believe. Like maybe like a few. Uh, no, oh, no it's way not... in hell. October ninety eight. Okay, it's way after. Yeah. Uh, spirit. Spirit. Not saying that they were. Spirit. But if they were trying to go for a one wing naval sport, they failed. 
Not necessarily look, I'm saying as far as like the uh, soundtrack for the boss fight. Well, I can't hear the soundtrack because, you know, I have to watch these things on a uh, mute because for some reason my headset really loves to bleed through the sound. Oh yeah, no, I had to mute myself to, in order to listen to. I, I, I get exactly where you're going with that. Dude, 500 win blocking. Ah, uh, okay. Well, when blocking, all you're really doing is getting reducing the, the uh, reducing the number of hits. It's the specials that you're really gonna see a difference. Yeah. But yes, look. Uh, welcome to Seru Court. He's his own special Seru, and we'll never get him as a spell. <sighs> I watch at the I watch at the end of the battle. He fades up uh, after Noah deals the killing blow. <laughs> or Vaughn does the killing blow and no, it's it's better if it's Noah. <laughs> she can control her own brother in battle. Oof. By the way, uh, don't forget that you do have the uh, point card as well. Ah, right. I'm not sure how much I used, but whatever the fuck. I'm just seeing how much like each one does first. Uh, so he has an old 16-bit cap. He's got 65,535 HP. 4,000 for Noah. Ow. Five thousand from Vaughn. Where did I put my point card? Osba, let's do some spoons. I'm pretty sure if I um did it, I probably could have gotten everybody's summon. Actually, let's do that. Oh, two ninety nine. I think we just used the point card up. Oh well. I mean, twenty nine ninety nine is still uh, decent. It's decent. I mean, let's show off everybody summon at least once because we got them. Oh, go ahead and use their uh, individual branded ones. Yeah. Except for maybe Noah, who gets can deal with me heels. So, Vaughn, uh, Meta, Noah, Terra, and Gala gets Spoon again because he, Noah took fucking punches to the face. Yeah. Terra doesn't look half bad. I mean, she's got carapace boobies, but... Mm. Not sure if I like that. Because I think I just saw the total of being like 2,000. Yeah, 2281, I think it said. Unless this is multiple hitting, which it might be. Okay, 4565. 4565, okay, decent. So that's slightly stronger than uh, what uh, she does on her normal combos. Yeah. And, of course, Gala... Invoking Spoon! Because <sighs> that's what you do on the final boss. <laughs> you just heal a lot. Well, I mean, 
I mean, that would be very rude if suddenly on the final boss, oh, hey, you can't heal. Yeah. That would yeah, be yeah. rude. And now that you mentioned it, somebody out there... Ooh. Giant sword. I'm getting well, revived. One thing if it was a phase of the boss of like, oh, you can't heal in this phase. Oh god, Meta's a jock because he has a giant sword. Meta is Ravana, and I've been giving him a goofy voice. I'm ready on for battle. Oh no, that was Susano. Yeah, that was Susano. Which technically would have a goofy voice. <laughs> Curious as a blaze. And 4368. Uh so in Mon's case, because of the accessory, uh stick to doing uh stick to doing max combos. Yeah. I mean granted, in all their cases, um the spells are kinda cool to watch, but not as great damage wise. And now Gala could use the top off. I'm going to spoon with somebody, and then we're going to see Ozma. Voltigar. And... His might actually do more damage just because he is the mage of the group. Oh, Jesus. Comes up in a f***ing coffin. I don't know if I was expecting, uh... Expecting Ozma to be quite that, um... Ed's lordy. And... It's filled with lasers! My god, it's full of lasers. Oh, and we're at an EDM concert. Uh, 4561, <laughs> so... Mm, iffy about that. His MP is better used to he as a healer. Yes. I mean, granted, these are all level 1 versions, so it's entirely possible, had we spent the time le uh, leveling them, they would have been doing quite a bit more. I mean, I like the animations, especially Ozma's, because it's just chunk, chunk, chunk. Yeah, no, I know it's a, I know it's a few years early, but I, when I saw the light show, I couldn't help but hear Sandstorm in my head. <laughs> Sandstorm was actually '95. Was it really? I think it's uh, earlier than you're thinking, but I checked. I mean, like, the pop is sometimes songs don't get popular until, like, way 99. later. Uh, okay. Initially released in Finland uh, in October 99, and re-released in many other countries in 2000. Okay. Stop it with Noah. Jeez. Okay, Spirit... And back to spoons. And remember, we have like 99 thing like magic to burn. Wait, why did you have no spirit? Why did you have no spirit? Because she doesn't have nine. Oh, She's just God shy damn. of nine slots. That's right. Her natural state is just shy of nine. Yeah. If you actually 99 to everyone, they wouldn't even. She wouldn't have even have the spirit to get her full bar. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, I know you're, I, I know you were looking out for me, Michael, but it was more of, like, I'm doing this in order to get that extra s Oh, hey! Level 7 spoon! Nice! Which means it now cures numb, I believe. I don't think the final boss does that, but whatever. Oh, no, that's just mostly for the sake of stating the fact. Hey, look. I think I can skip one turn of not healing and have Ozma attack. 
you and Gala. You and Gala, yes. God, I hate when it's like you have characters and then you have characters that meld with other characters, but they're still a distinct entity. Because then I just want to refer to the character that see it yeah, like their name is much more unique. So it's like Gala, Ozma, Ozma. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Yeah. Forty-one fifty. So his spell does a teeny bit more. But it's all. But this is also zero MP. Yeah. I think we'll do combos instead. I may have somebody top Gala off if we have to some reason use. Oh, we never got to show off the Dark Boy. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, we also went into this fight with still never using a single water. Like, I understand, you know, trying to save items, but this is this is the final fight. I also went into the final fight with an encounter down item, which I did. Yeah, it happened. I could have changed that out for something like... Maybe an attack up or a increased. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's yeah, uh, rot, uh, numb rot venom. Ultimate charge. Okay, so this is the next turn we said everyone spirits. Whether they need it or not, they need it. Everybody needs it. Because the ultimate can do around, or a little over 3, 3k when unguarded. Which, that will kill Noah immediately. Yep. Or as the way they say it in the uh, uh, documentaries, this will kill the Noah. Final Crisis. Is there a core to this? I was thinking it, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it still does a thousand damage. Mm -hmm. Ow. And Ozma Spoon! So from here on out, it becomes uh, critical that you keep... Oh! Hey, Eric! Thousand butt thousand damage! Butt... <laughs> yeah, but it becomes critical from this point out that you keep everyone's health nice and high. Uh, because not only does he have that, which does give us a warning, but he has a second attack, Doomsday, now, which does not give us a warning. I'm guessing... And which is almost as nasty as his charged up attack. And I'm guessing we're basically at the halfway point now. Roughly, yeah. I mean, so far, this is an interesting final boss fight. Um, 
Was there a sacred boss fight that we could do? I don't know. Oh, it's goody! Possible. We're gonna be blocking next turn! Oh, final charge. Ultra charge! Oh yeah, ultra charge. Oh, uh, another piece of uh, video game news that I just remembered. Monster Hunter is coming, uh, not Monster Hunter, Monster Rancher is coming back. Uh. But, and there's a but here, it's a tie-in game. Do you guys want to guess what the tie-in property is, or fuck it? Judging by your tone, it's not great. I'm gonna say it's weird. It's not that it's not great, but it's just weird, based on your Did tone. You on? No. I was gonna. My guess is gonna be Garo. Uh, you're weirdly enough. Because that in would the, be pretty weird. It it's in the similar vein, but not quite. Uh. Obviously, I think now it's pretty obvious. Common Rider? Nope. Okay. I give up. Uh, MPX? Magamitas? Yeah, no, I have no idea. I was going to say Common Rider. Ultraman! Ah. Huh. And that's why I go, like, it's weird because, like, it's only been very, very recent that Ultraman has finally broken into Western audiences. And that's because of, like, the Ultraman anime on Netflix. But it it's essentially taking all the monsters from the Ultraman series, which apparently there is quite a lot of them, and applying the Monster Rancher formula to them. But it's going to be released on Switch and I think maybe PC. But I, I looked at that, it's like, oh sweet, a Monster Rancher game. Uh, what? Ultraman? Uh, this game may never see the light of day in the Western, uh, Western audiences. Two days later. Oh. Oh, it is getting a Western release. <coughs> hmm. Kind of neat. You know what I just thought of when you when we were talking about this though? What? Imagine if um, Squeenix were to do one, uh, were to do a, par a, a partnership tie-in to the Final Fantasy universe. Good God, With Monster Rancher! <laughs> That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. I mean, like a nice partnership. Y'all come look at my baby at Behemoth. Yeah. Why is it mixed with the Cactuar? Oh god. Yeah. Wow. I wanted it to have a nice, a nice little spiky a treat for anyone who tried to hurt it. Uh, god, did I do that just for the random chocobo crossbreeds? Oh god. This is my cactar chocobo. I call him Pokey. No, 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 no. Quirrell chocobo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sparky. <laughs> Uh, I do it just to I do it just to play God and see what kind of monstrosities I can come up with, and then breed a marble breed marbles into every bloodline. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> no one would visit my farm. It would be very, very stinky there. <laughs> that kind of logic that we got marbles in the first place. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, all of a sudden, all I could think of is like. What would a Tonberry with a subspecies of bomb look like? <laughs> oh god. Bomb and then berry. it's like, it, wait, what would a Tonberry sub anything look like? <laughs> oh my god. No. Tontoir. 
<laughs> oh, oh god. Everybody, everyone's needles. <laughs> Everyone needle. it, it does. It does a thousand needles attack, but it, they're but they scale based on grudge. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh. Square, please partner with Konami. Uh, not Konami. Uh, Ben. Uh, with uh. Benko. No. Uh. Named by Benko. No, it's not Bandai Namco, because it's... Uh, the, pe it, the people behind uh, the Warriors series also did uh, Monster Ranger. Tecmo? Uh, Koei Tecmo. Please, Square. Partner with Koei Tecmo. Please. Please, we need this to happen. Get us Final Fantasy Monster Breeder. Monster Ranger. So we can make so many abominations. And I think we just beat Oh my Kurt. god. Aramon Morbles. I feel like uh, Aramon would be the equivalent of a Swayzo. Did, yep, Court is. Court is disintegrating. Court is going nuclear at this point. And by. And. No, no, it. You can't rip his corpse out of the bug body. Also, he never got a chance to use Doomsday. Thank God. Literally, Doomsday is he grabs another planet from the sky and crashes it into Lagaya. <laughs> Silence. Noah, I know you. How you must feel, but he was a dipshit. Terra! I mean, Terra ain't wrong. We all did the best we could. God, I look so cool in that armor. <laughs> we all did the best we could. The woman's like, not me, I didn't really try that hard. <laughs> Gala is just like, mm, I just healed your asses. I punched him once. And now he did a little bit of damage. I, I, I may have punched your brother once, but... <laughs> Now the human world will also return to normal. Rave. However, Hari did the best he could, but I think Noaru Valley is done for. The age of Seru, our era, is over. Whoop. Oh no! We are now just part of the collective memory known as history. That's a little sad, isn't it? Your parents were killed by Seru. Yet you want to be with me, a Seru? And besides, you're not alone. You have Vaughn and Gala. And Cancer Wolf. And Cancer Wolf. Cancer Wolf lives on! <laughs> Ozma. Oh, actually, yeah, it turns out Cancer Wolf was actually a Simsaru. Oh no! Cancer Wolf! <laughs> turns out Cancer Wolf was the true heart of uh, Juggernaut. <laughs> oh no. He killed our buddy Cancer Wolf. Ozma, we have experienced life and death together. How can you leave me now? Actually, you know what would be really awkward? Imagine any Soren that are flying at this moment. Oh no. And the Soren camp. wings are, are Sarah wings. And the Soren camp is stuck in the middle. Oh yeah, of... the camp itself. Oh god, they are going to die! Hooray, we accidentally genocided an entire species. 
Genocided Yay. two species! Yay! Oh, Gala. Has your dependence on me caused you to forget your own abilities? Technically three if you consider the Seru and Rosaru as separate. Yeah. Also, we killed God, too. True. <laughs> no, God killed himself to save us. But that's the JRPG. I mean, since when in a JRPG do you not kill God? Fair. Fair point. Van, your heart is so full of warmth, and your mouth is full of empathy. You're the most non-verbal hero I've ever heard. <laughs> and... And now for Fast Voice. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Vanoa. Thank you, Gala. Together, we humans and Sarah are stronger than the ancient Teague himself! We are now heading to beyond the twilight, but do not forget this! Humans and Sarah are both born of Teague and are one. They have lived through the same era. It is the time for humans to create their own futures. That was way too slow, and I didn't need to do that voice. Whatever. 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 In the eternal words of Squall. Whatever. Whatever. This is the last of our server powers. Oh no, the Sarah are turning into RGB. Oh, hey, actual cutscene cutscene. I mean, we've had a couple in this game. A couple. Oh, no, everybody's turning into fireflies. And one giant mortar ball. Well, Rim Elm is fucked. Maybe. Oh, hey, my. Thus did the brave deeds of our three hills defeat Juggernaut, who engulfed Rim Elm and brought humankind a new world of true peace, completely free of the mist and convenience. Those jackasses. Yep. God, this, this troubadour is obviously a little biased. Also, when we bought that, like, one thing by the side of the road when we got to, uh, like, Soul Tower in that, what came of that? I don't, think I don't even remember what you're talking about. Ah, never mind, Ben. Children of Rim Elm, be proud of Vaughn, whose home is our village. And the home of the guy that ruined our lives, I mean. They're going to have to fire that troubadour. I think that's the mayor. Or the elder, village elder, rather. Be careful. I can't, I can't remember what I did for Nana's voice. But it's like... I think you did give her something like that. <laughs> like something like Chain Smoker. Yeah. Uh, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no! How unfortunate! What a terrible blunder! I have made more time space bombs! Oh no! <laughs> I have a Sorin take me all the way here! Only to find out the biggest hero Vaughn is about to leave. Wait. Wait. What? How do the Sorens still have wings? Who is this person? Dr. Usha, a brilliant scientist. 
And also a German. <laughs> and also the inventor of time space bombs. And doesn't understand how a timer works. I mean, this uh, guy could invent remember. an egg timer and it would go off at 30 seconds when you set it for 30 minutes. <laughs> Correct! I am Usha. I am very from a warehouse of knowledge. Well, never mind. Net fun. I want you to tell me why you are leaving. Oh boy. To thank the people who helped me. To see the mist-free uh, mist world. To tell Noah my true feelings. To train at Byron Monastery. I think with Vaughn... I would say thank the people who helped. Yeah. I think for Vaughn. For Vaughn. Such a strong sense of obligation. That means I could have just awaited you at my lab. Uh, oh, no, 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 I wasn't stopping at your lab. You didn't help me. Oh, God, no, uh, Usha, you... You almost killed us. <laughs> you killed us. Almost. Yes, well, if those are your intentions, then it's fine with me. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to write a book about the life of our great liberator. And her name is Noah, I mean... Oh. Oop. And Oop. her name is the Cancer Wolf. The Cancer Wolf. <laughs> I will remain in the room to gather material from my book until you return, Vaughn. Those two there, they must be your family, yeah. Vaughn? Chapter one. Vaughn is a stingy bastard who does not give me honey for cakes. <laughs> Pardon me for disturbing your saying farewell to Vaughn. Tell me everything outside. What a character you are, Doc. Oh, wait, no, that's Val. What a character you are, Dr. Usha. <laughs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know, including how I changed Van Dun Death glares from Van. <sighs> I won't wait to see you off, Van. So, take care, my son. I'm sure you'll be alright, but take care anyway. Good luck. And now we have control of Vaughn, and I'm guessing we're going to be talking to people for the end of the game. I mean, the guide ended already. Well, let's go talk to Mai. Oh, have fun. May. Vaughn, I'll be honest with you. When I was inside Juggernaut, I felt your warmth. Worry? And I was certain that you would come and save me. That's why I wasn't afraid. So please, Vaughn, come back as soon as you can. Because I... I care for you. Be careful, Vaughn. I'll be awaiting your return. Maya! Vaughn, it's too bad about Songi, but I'm still grateful to you. Maya, Songi was a goddamn puppy kicker. But he did that every day. And he burned down several orphanages. Oh, that's irreparable. Never mind, then. <laughs> Please give my regards to Master Zopu. Good luck. Let me worry about things here. Oh, hey! It's our buddy, Pepe. I'm learning the secrets of jewelry business as we travel. Fine, if you ever need a wedding ring, I'll give you a good prize. Good to see you again. It's me, Zalan, jeweler of Jeremy. Thank you for what you did to me for me. My son, Pepe, and I are traveling the world together on a jewel buying trip. Ah, oh, there's a lot of weird people here. Oh, they, they're they completely rebuilding Ramelm. Ah, fun. I was just talking with Dr. Usha. We're talking about how the Rosaru of Amazing Powers healed my legs. And how everyone in the vill uh, village feels as if they've been reborn. The Rosaru have given us new lease on life. It's a miracle we'll never stop talking about. Fascinating. A most fascinating story. Fun. Val's a wonderful father, and Nene is a wonderful sister. But Van, your face says you want to ask me about the world outside the village. Yes. My intuition was right, as usual. Well then, I will make it brief. First of all, you do know that no more Sir will be created anymore, yes? Our good friends in Seoul are still experimenting, but 
but it's no use. With Urumais destroyed and the Seru Kai gone, no new Seru will ever appear again. What's more, the Seru are already here are gradually losing their power. My calculations show that most of the Seru will die off in the next year or so. Three months later. We avoided the Seru in the Age of the Mist, but losing them completely is another matter. The Sorin, the flying carts and other who relied on the Seru may return to the Stone Age. But Van, I have faith in human potential. The human race will never die out as long as we have people like you to carry on Teague's wishes. I don't think the Sorin are going to die out. I think they may just become something similar to... I'm not going to talk to everybody, but I'm just going to look around. Oh, hey, there's a giant pot of curry? Oh, hey, I can eat curry before we go. Vine ate the hot stew. The heartwarming, homegrown taste of Rim Elm. I wasn't healed! Oh, no! I mean... What oh. did you expect to have happen after this point? Oh, hey, it's Luctus. It's good to see you again, Vaughn. I've brought Dardusha here. You may have heard already, but the Seru are gradually losing their power. Soon, the Sorin Seru wings will also become useless. Will you be alright? I appreciate your consent, but don't worry. I'm going to fight off Lord Megatron and become the leader of the... Oh, 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 wrong character. <laughs> Our elder and the rest of the Sorin have made an important decision. We have decided to live on the surface, as ordinary humans. My younger brother, Grantes, will have much to teach us about how to live as surface dwellers. Uh, I'm guess I think I can talk to Nene. I'm sure Mother is happy for you. Oh right, Mom is dead. Um, you're an anime character. I mean, you're a JRPG character, so yeah, since your dad's alive, that was presumable. The memory statue is silent. It must have lost all its power. Apparently the save is a Seru. <laughs> the save crystal's a Seru? This whole time? Apparently so. Oh. Um. Hello, folks. And yet you were able to save in dangerous areas. Oh, that's because it... Yeah. But that's because the save crystal was, well, maybe one of those non-interfering ones. Mm. Hello, Vaughn. So you're ready to leave? Well, I have something to ask you. After the village was rescued from the Juggernaut, Noah left the village. Noah was carrying a baby, wasn't she? Wait, what? It Noah refused sense. to tell me who the baby was, but that was her brother, Court, wasn't it? Oh. oh, physically carrying a baby, yet not preggers with baby. Well, no, I figured physically carrying a baby. I was just trying to figure out what what baby it was. But yeah. apparently Teague reverted Court back to a baby. I think that was Court. That with was the last class of his power. Court, too, must have been reborn when he we received new life from the Rosaru. I know that it was Court who brought the mist into the world. And I also know that Court is Noah's only blood relative. Noah must have been trying to leave with Court unnoticed. She must have decided to raise Court by herself. In the ways of Cancer Wolf. Oh no. She's actually going to feed Court to Cancer Wolf as a tribute. Noah is quite a young woman. Hmm. Ron, are you about to leave Rimelm? Yes. Have you said goodbye to everybody in Rimelm? To everybody I care about, everybody yes. Matters. Good luck to you. See the distant lands, the rich world for all humans. Ron! Oh. Fine. Goodbye, Van. We'll miss you. 
Good luck. Take care. We'll be waiting for you. Remember, this is your home. Credits. Credits, please. Okay, I'm not controlling Vaughn at this point. All of a sudden, Terra's theme starts playing. <laughs> Legend of Lagaya Credits. Oh, boy. We made it to the credits. We finally made it to the credits. A decade later, we finally beat Legend of Lagaya. Oh, look, baby. <laughs> and Noah. Wait, you actually figured out when you actually started the first playthrough? I'm guessing. It was about a decade. Yeah. Hidenori Shibao. Pro Keon Staff. Because it was one of the first things we did on this channel, and the channel's about a decade old at this point. Yeah. Ah, so we finally finished off Christmas trees. Yep, Christmas trees are done. Cancer Wolf story has ended for now. Oh no! Tiny boys! And Gala is now master. Map section. Masahiko Kikuchi. Main program. Event program. Takenori Shikimi. Mame all these Japanese names. Oh hey, Kara. And Grant a uh, Grant has fishes. Grant has provides. What the? What? Okay, Kara is those what that type of person where she loves ugly things. That or like that's the most tastiest ugliest fish possible. And ah yes, this guy who. Uh, okay, he's being married. I think that that one girl that didn't want to be sacrificed. Battle section. Nori. Battle program. Noriyuki Watanabe. Character design. Natsumi Arisawa Kazuhiro Miyawaka. Background design. Mia Taketoyo Ogawa. Blah, blah, blah. And one of the lounge women from Soul Tower. And this background image from Soul Tower. And Soul Tower. Subgame section. Roaring. Huh. <sighs> well, your thoughts, Michael, on finally completing this game, or at least completing this game with me? Yeah, I was gonna say I've I've beaten it before myself, back in the literal nineties. Oh no. Um. Or when maybe these graphics were cutting edge. Yeah, when these graphics were actually, you know, pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. But, um... I don't know. It's, um... It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, there is supposedly a project to redo all of Legend of Lagaya using a modern engine. Which could be interesting. I mean, like, I... If they do, it's probably going to be Unity or Unreal, but more likely to be Unity because reasons. The only question is, are we going to get like a faithful updated version of the existing game? Are we going to get like a slightly added to version? Or are we going to get like Ligaya R? Uh, from the looks of it, they're probably going to be just doing like, uh, like faithful to but everything updated. Um, which, which isn't bad. It's not a bad idea or bad answer. I mean, this brings to the question of, like, other games of this era that people 
have a heart for that they'd want to see remade and it's like well well speaking of legends there's still legend of dragoon obviously legend of dragoon casting von wataru takagi noah sachiko sugawara gala jin yamanoi songi Taka uh, takahashi nagasako these are the actual voice actors jirota kosugi minigame Barry Jurd. Technical support. But, like, I know a lot of people want uh, Legend of Dragoon redone. And the company that Ed, that you'd have to book for that one is Guess Who? Uh, who? Sony. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. That was actually purely a Sony game. The Sony was the publisher? Sony was yeah. the publisher, as well as the one footing the bill for the developer, too. Ooh. Yeah, so I've been, I wanted a Legend of Dragoon remake for a long time, because as a kid I didn't notice, but as an adult, yeah, they kind of janked up the translations. I mean, there are, like adjusted translations to uh Legend of Dragoon out there. Like there there's stuff that <laughs> removes the Wooslyisms for six. Yeah. Which Yes, but also yep. kinda why. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna say that, you know, he was a great man who did great things, but some of the Wooslyisms actually made the game more charming. I yeah. mean one of the major Wooslyisms has been retconned to active uh, to Japan. Oh, uh, son of a submarine, right? Everything about Kefka got retconned, uh. so that he is that insane clown. Because in the original Japanese one, the first iteration, he's your stock standard. I'm evil, which is. A choice, but it's not as fun as Kefka, the uh, the insane clown. Yeah. And so, like, some of the Wooslyisms led to a better character. Son of a submariner! Ahem. <clears throat> There's a sand on my boots. Uh... But then again, like, this is one of those arguments of, uh, should localization, like, make things meet the audience it's being localized to? Or do they try and keep as much of the original stuff as possible? Well, I am firmly on the side of you should keep as much to the core of the intended translation. Yeah. Yeah. Of the, the intended, of what the author intended, and not quote unquote change it for the audience Editing. you're trying to go to. <laughs> I mean, yes, occasionally you get Wesleyisms that make the character better. Most of the time you get people inserting their own bullshit. <laughs> or like, just simply uh, not even translating, just sort of going, I'm doing guesswork. Yeah. You know. Like, kind of where, where I would land on it is kind of a middle ground. Like, they sh it shouldn't be manipulated to fit uh, the translator's own agenda, the localizer's own agenda. But sometimes sometimes minor changes have to be made in order for the character as intended to come across as intended to a different audience. Well, that's well, fair. I, just, I would like to point out a good example of this. Okay, you know all the Sans, Chans, Kuns, Senpais, Kohais, things. Samas. Right? Yes. Yeah. Obviously, some of those don't really translate all that well. You can't exactly say Mr. Uh, you know, Kobayashi well, or things like that. Yeah, can't. Uh, well, it's sort of a thing for of every language, but I mean, yeah, for English, there really isn't a good translation for Kohai. It's not really a well, concept that exists in our The way I would like, say uh, it works the best is like if it's taking place in Japan. Like, it's a bunch of, it's a student drama, it's a isekai protagonist, 
uh, from Japan to some other world if it's like, you know, something like that. Using those terms makes sense because that's actually indicative of the place. Yeah, and it's the like character, some yeah. fantastical, like, fantasy world. I don't think you would actually want to use those because if it's not really Japan, they wouldn't be using Japanese, like, idioms. Or, like, uh, certain cultural aspects. I mean, that's fair, but it also depends if the story is supposed to be, well, it's an isekai, so that's assumed. A yeah, fish so, out of water, if the character uses those terms. Yeah, you would have the main character, uh, uh, main character using sans and samas and what have you, and the people going, what? I, I, yeah. I, well, <laughs> no, there's always the thing. That that it's always so convenient that the isekai you go to speaks English. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> In this case, Japanese. Yeah, speaks your language. Well, I mean, some of them address that, where it's like, oh, they're, you're not actually speaking English. Universal translator, your logic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm on the thing of, like, some localization needs to happen. Otherwise, we get some of the translations that, like, what Wild Arms 2 happened with Liz and Ard. Because, uh, Wally, I'm not sure if you've ever played Wild Arms 2, but I know MPX yeah. and I have. Uh, MPX and I have played Wild Arms 2. Michael and I observed it on stream. Yeah, but you remember how Liz talked in the, an overly flowery language, and some of the things just didn't make sense. Um, when I looked back on it, apparently Wild Arms Two was a much more direct, no woozlyisms whatsoever translation. So, essentially, Liz is supposed to be. That over the top flower, uh, like purple prose speaking, uh, it's like I'm going to start speaking in a haiku for a brief moment before comedy hits. And I think, in some ways, that still get, comes across. It's just the fact that a lot of it is, you know, obviously context, contextless. Like, and so it's, obviously, certain Japanese, you know, idioms don't translate immediately because it's like, I don't understand because that's not how you would say that, you know, or how you were raised in whatever country it is. Yeah, and so, like, it still comes across as a, like, very like, big-talking, pompous character only, in this case, he changed from big-talking, pompous character with overly flower language to big talking pompous character that speaks utter nonsense. <laughs> so and like sub uh, like I'm on the thing of like localization needs to happen in certain circumstances. And I'd say like you can do uh, like for some things, it makes sense, but other things, it's like, leave that alone. Um, and we've just been sitting on the end screen this entire time. Yeah. Oh, hey, I can actually press a button. Oh, hey, stats! Oh. Sweet. Fuck. What does it say? How many battles you lost? Everyone got knocked out one time. Maximum damage. And we got 85% of the possible treasure. And uh, I think that's 85% of... Uh... Like, everything. So, I missed... Yeah. 38 chests. Slash unique items. Because I think probably getting the eggs and then getting the talismans off of the eggs probably count. Probably. So, I've only escaped two times. Got all the magic, all the hyper arts, monsters defeated, bleh. And got TKO'd one time. <laughs> yeah. So, um... I mean, I meant to say TPK'd. I like how Vaughn almost has double digits <laughs> on monsters defeated. And now we're back to the intro. 
Okay, so I'm going to close that out. But, uh, we could probably save some of the, uh, oh, hey, d d d yeah, like, localization chat for later. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. uh, we're over by uh, 20 minutes, whatever. This is fine. But, uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. That's the final, uh, like, that will be the final stream, at least with me in the pilot seat for a while. As well as the final stream of Legend of Blagaya. I'm sorry if you want me to do a completionist run. Uh, not happening. No. That wasn't happening. No, I don't. The, the 99 grind just immediately is like bleh, on me. That would need some cheat engine stuff, honestly. And while I technically have something that allows me to do that, it's overly complicated. Which to me annoys the crap out of me. Because I'd rather have something just done in the emulator. Just do it. But for some odd reason, uh, EPSXE doesn't have that capabilities, supposedly. It has a section for it, but it doesn't work. And everybody states it doesn't work. So why even have it? But, um, as such... Uh, tune in tomorrow. We're going to probably be doing a bit more of Tunic, by the way. Uh, which, once, that's me in the driver's seat, but it's like a, just, a thing while, uh, that we're just doing while we're waiting around for our other, uh, our other lead person to come back from vacation. Yeah. So we can do more 14 and... Uh, Elden Ring, so we can finally cross that off the list. But, uh, as a next Friday, that is going to be 100% with Michael slash Fates in the driver's seat. Me acting as the co-pilot. A.K.A. the guy with the guide open. Uh, assisting with what little guide there is. Because the next game that we're going to be doing next week on Friday is essentially uh, Chrono Cross. And I mean, you say what little guide there is. Game Facts is a website that existed when Chrono Cross was originally out. Yeah. No, I mean what I'm little guidance sure that. Yeah. What little guidance you oh. technically need. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that you won't need guidance, because there's some stuff that's like, really now? Esoteric? Uh, esoteric stuff. But, for characters, my, uh, Michael knows that if he absolutely, like, there's only one way he can screw up missing the one character he actively wants. And, and that's, that's, pretty, that's by choice. literally choosing not to take him. So yeah, it's <laughs> there. I'm not worried about characters that I get. I've already. I only have one character I know of that I actually care about recruiting, and he's pr just about impossible to not take unless you're actively trying. So it's gonna be less about that and more just about oh hey, um, you missed an item over there type thing. You missed an item. Uh, you missed an item that makes a character. What? Don't worry about it. Or, you know, this upcoming boss, you better have this set up, otherwise you're going to have a hard time. Or, oh, hey, this I'm boss does... having all water magic equipped when I go into a boss that's strong against water and weak against fire. Yeah. Or, oh, hey, don't let the boss do this. Why? Because it'll do that in wipe. <laughs> uh, but, in this case, that's next Friday... But tomorrow we're going to be doing Tunic. I think wins next Wednesday, uh, we're going to return back to form with uh, Eddie slash Baron uh, taking over for Wednesdays again. For Elden Ring. For Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. uh, we may... Uh, and then back to Friday. I'm not sure what we're going to be... If we're going to be doing anything Saturday. But we'll leave that alone. We might be now. doing Tunic for a while, if nothing else. If nothing else. But, uh, as such, uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, if you liked what you heard, 
uh, probably the best way to help us out is spread the word. Let other people know about us. We'd like to get more people to find out, out, uh, out about us. Um, if you prefer a much more direct method, there's, of course, the sub points here on Twitch. Uh, we have a Patreon uh, and Rub uh, Redbubble store. Um, if you like to hear us talk a bit more and don't want to wait around, we also have our archives on YouTube. They're slowly being organized in playlists. None of them are public yet, but that's because I'm also, at the same time, tagging every single video at the same time. Which, uh, <laughs> remind me after the after we after we cut, I might be able to help you with that. Yes, please. Um, if you don't want to watch stuff, but still like our somewhat decent voices, we do have some podcasts out there. That are on all Make major yourself. platforms. My voice Rude. I've been told that I have a voice for radio and a face to match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my I voice have a face for radio and a voice for print. Oof. 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 I've been told I've been drier than hell. That's kind of surprising. But, um... We uh, our our podcasts are on all major platforms, so they're on Google, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Uh, Front Row Geeks is one of them. That's our just general talking about stuff when we did it. Uh, then we had Front Row Perspectives, which was a much more hyper focused talking about a certain topic. Um, our uh, social media websites are YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. There is no TikTok, don't ask. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Nope. But other than that, uh, maybe we hope to see you tomorrow with Tunic, which we're doing that completely blind, if you know what Tunic's about. Join us and see how we shenanigan our way through that, especially after 20 minutes of wandering around. Right. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Night, everybody. Bye. Bye.